This video demonstrates how to find the yield to maturity on a bond using Excel. And we are going to use the Excel formula equals rate with some information here and the multiplication by 2. The example here is a bond with 12 years to maturity which has a face value of $1,000, a coupon rate of 8%, and a current market price of $950 asking to find the yield to maturity. So we are going to use equals rate. The first piece of information it's asking for is the number of periods. This bond has 12 years to maturity. We are going to assume that it makes semi-annual interest payments, which means in 12 years there will be 24 payments. The next piece of information it is asking for the payment, which refers to the coupon payment. This is a face value of $1,000 and a coupon rate of 8%. 8% of 1,000 is $80, and that is annual. The semi-annual coupon payment is therefore $40. Next piece of information it's asking for is the present value. The present value is the current market price that you will pay now, $950, and we're going to put that in as negative to represent the fact that you're paying the $950, not receiving it. And the last piece of information we need here is the future value. The future value is the amount we are going to receive at maturity. We receive the face value at maturity, $1,000. Now, since we have put everything in terms of semi-annual payments, Excel is going to give us a semi-annual interest rate, so we need to multiply that by 2 to get the annual yield to maturity. That gives us 8.68% as our yield to maturity, and as a quick check, this does make sense. Our coupon rate is 8%, but yield to maturity accounts for the gain or loss you make on the bond as a result of buying the bond at a price different than its face value. Here we're paying $950 for a bond with a face value of $1,000, so that's adding to the yield that we end up getting on the bond a little bit. So that's how we end up with the yield to maturity a little bit higher than the coupon rate. 